Hi everyone, welcome to another skincare video. So today we are gonna talk about how to get rid of acne or at least to lessen the existence of it on our face. I started having acne prone skin seven years ago so that was like 2014 and I had this first severe one around December or November 2015 and that's when I actually started doing my research about how to get rid of acne. So there are three main topics for today's video and the first one is about the skincare routine so I'm just gonna give you tips or advices in your skincare as you may or may not know I have been reviewing products or I have been sharing my experiences with different skincare products here in YouTube I also have shared some skincare routines that helped me in improving my acne skin so the first tip that I'm gonna share with you is that if you are trying a new product and you want to see the full potential of it or the full effect of it try to use it at least one or two months to see the full results because trying on a product or using a product will not take effect right away it's not like it's not gonna happen overnight that's not how it works number two is to be consistent with what you're using consistency is the key yep i think to everything if you already know that a certain product is working for you then just stick with that for some people including me every time we see a review and our favorite influencers here in youtube or other platforms said that this certain product is good we tend to want to buy it and I feel you try to not get tempted into buying a new product just because someone said it's good number three the less products in your skincare routine the better the first skincare video that I uploaded there's like eight to nine products and I kind of took it down because I don't want people to be copying that or to think that that's okay at least limit the products to like four to five products I think that's like a good number of the products per routine that you're doing. Number four is about using actives. <laughs> This happened last year where I was like, oh my gosh, I need actives to be implemented to my skincare routine. So I made a mistake in implementing all the actives all together in one skincare routine. <laughs> so that's why I got a bad breakout. I'm still trying to recover from it actually. I still have the acne scars, which I'm gonna show right here. Number five, it's still about actives, is try to take a break from it if you can. Especially when you see that your skin is exhausted. The product is probably a good one for your skin, but because you have a lot of other products contradicting it, makes it not effective or makes your skin worse. Basing from my experience, I took a break from actives for a month and then I went back to it, but this time I did it right. I implemented it one by one. You can watch the first active video that I did right here, which was niacinamide. The very important advice that you should be doing is doing your research on the products that you are buying or that you want to buy. You really have to invest your time and effort into reading all of these articles on how to use the products, what are the benefits that it's gonna give to your skin, and when to use it. Those are very important details because that can actually make a difference to the results of using a certain skincare product. The second main topic for this video is stress. They said that the less stress you are, the less acne you'll get. But the acne is actually causing you stress. Well, what can I say? I can totally relate to that. For some people, including me, stress is a big factor into why we get a bad breakout or like acne breakout. Stress is something that we want to control or manage, but it's definitely hard to avoid. So I'm just gonna share with you the ways on how to reduce stress. The first way to reduce stress is exercising. And recently, I've been really wanting to have a healthy lifestyle and to lessen my acne. So I started working out regularly. The only workout that I do is I go for a run with my earphones on, just listening to Spotify, something that motivates me. I think it really helped into reducing my stress. So exercising and then listening to a motivational podcasts and even reading a book. I actually started reading this. I've been learning a lot about myself. And also I finished this book. The ones that I showed you are the first two motivational books that I've read my whole life. I'm not really a book person but I find it to be an effective way in reducing or managing my stress. So for me, aside from work, my stress is coming from my insecurities. I overthink too much which is not good. So that's why three months ago I started watching motivational videos, started reading books 
and also i used to have an unhealthy relationship with sleep because i tend to sleep late i really tried to fix it because we all know that if we don't get sleep then our body is not as effective like we cannot function to the best of our potential and that could kickstart cortisol surge cortisol meaning the stress hormone that would put me into getting more act so managing stress is very very important just make sure that you're getting enough sleep and you're exercising regularly it doesn't have to be a full workout it can be just a simple 15 minutes run 15 minutes ab exercise 15 minutes something like as long as you are working out four times a week or three times a week as long as you're doing something to get a stronger and healthier body number three is about our food intake so number one as you may have already guessed is to lessen your sugar or dairy intake i use the word lessen and not stopping fully because i am someone who loves sweet that is something that i cannot give up so when i implemented actives to my skincare routine six months ago i also tried to really lessen my sugar and dairy intake and i think that's why the products that i've been using have been very effective so the second one relating to food is you have to make sure that you have a healthy diet no matter what kind of product no matter how expensive the skincare product that you're using no matter how effective it is no matter how good the reviews are if you are not eating healthy and if you're not watching the meals that you're putting inside your body then the product is useless because we cannot depend on skincare products alone the healthier your body the healthier your skin is and speaking of healthy the third advice or tip that i'm gonna give you is to take supplements so my doctor advised me that i was very low in vitamin b specifically folic acid and he also mentioned that that's probably why i have acne so i started taking vitamin b because folic acid actually helps in detoxifying our body I contains concentrations of antioxidants that work to reduce levels of oxidative stress in our skin so meaning it can lessen the occurrence of pimples or acne anywhere in our body last tip a very important tip for advice that i'm gonna give you is to consult with a dermatologist if you think that you already have a severe acne or even a mild one reach out to a dermatologist just ask for their advice on what you should do and then go from there so in my case i have consulted with a couple of dermatologists already and luckily i find someone who actually cares since we have different type of skin we have different body we have different um, reactions to what we're putting inside our body whatever worked for you may not work for me and whatever worked for me may not work for you in terms of skincare diet and all that so these are just the tips that i've learned in the past seven years and if you're someone who actually got rid of your acne please share your tips or advices in the comment down below because it would really help the other people who are new to having acne prone skin and if you want to see more skincare videos like this please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel see you again next time